Good morning, motivation team. How y'all doing this morning? Everybody good? You straight? You straight? You straight? This what's up, bro. Don't forget to tell y'all family good morning. And before the message start, go on to come over here and watch the video. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, thank y'all for supporting. Thank y'all for being there since day one. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep on striving. And these videos, after this one, they're going to start getting a little longer. Because I've been seeing that some of these uh, some of these books in the Bible, they're going to be longer. They're going to be about 100, 100 chapters each coming real soon. Coming soon, they're going to be about 100 chapters, about 75, 40, stuff like that. So I'm going to have to start making these videos a little longer. And with that being said, we got an intro. We got an outro. We got this little mark right here in, in the corner of the video. So y'all, thank y'all for being there. Look what we doing. We doing all this, we making big things happen. I got stuff going on in the, in the background that can't nobody, that know what I'm saying, I don't want to let out just yet. But y'all, we are doing it. We are doing it and we will be something. We will keep growing, we will grow. And we will be known. People will know about bad community. Finna be wearing a straight bag shirt in all my videos. Y'all see me with a bag shirt. But hey, I ain't gonna talk about it. I'm, I'm gonna be about it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. So with the all that being said, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for supporting. I wouldn't be who I am today without y'all. So thank y'all for real, for real. And with that being said, y'all, let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So we left off at... Abu Malik came and talked to uh came and talked to Isaac and they had talked it out because how the way Abu Malik had handled it, he probably think he handled it a little wrong, so he came to apologize. Hey y'all, Izawu had two wives. <gasps> Izawu had two wives. And they were both from the Hittite nation. Their name was Judah. And Bashmith. And they gave Rebecca and Isaac problems. So time goes past. Isaac is starting to get old. Well, he's already old, but Isaac is really getting older. And his vision is starting to go a little blurry. His vision is starting to look just like that. And he called on Azul. Azul was like, I'm here. He says, He says, I want you to go. Go hunt and go get me some venison. I don't know how long I'm going to be here, but son, I want you to go make me my favorite food, cook it the way I like it, and bring it to me so that I can bless you. He's son like, all right, dad, I'm going to go. As I will leave, close the door, and guess who ear hustling? Rebecca. Rebecca is ear hustling. And is it just me? Or is it like Abraham and 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 his son Isaac? They're they're living the same way. They kind of living the same thing. Cause the way that Abraham was talking to the Lord and the and the two angels, the way he was talking to them, Sarai was in the tent. Like she was ear hustling, like I don't know how they think I'm gonna be. I'm gonna get pregnant. He old as a bat, and I and I already can't can't get pregnant. So now we now Isaac in his shoes. Rebecca ear hustling, and she tells Jacob. Y'all know Jacob the the chill laid back son. So she tells Jacob, son, come here. I heard your father say Isawu. To go get him some some meat and to prepare it for him, and he was gonna bless him. So what I want you to do, I want you to go grab two young goats, bring it to me, I'll cook it the way he like it, and I want you to give it to him. So he will bless you. Jacob like is always hairy. 
I'm smooth. I'm I ain't got no hair on my body. He gonna know he he gonna know he gonna know that I'm not him and he's gonna bring a curse upon me instead of a blessing. His mama like, boy, go do what I tell you to do. And he like, alright. So he left. Let me let me make sure I'm on track. Cause right now I'm just I'm going straight off the dome. Yep, I'm on track. I'm on track now. Alright, so he goes and get the meat. After she talked to him, he goes to get the meat. He bring it back. She cooked it. She prepared it how Isaac liked his food. And then she says, now, go to Izawa's room and get some clothes from his closet. He grabs some clothes from his closet. She put some, she put some ghost skin on his hands. She put ghost skin around his neck. So Isaac couldn't tell who Jacob was. So Jacob walks towards Isaac and says, Father, I got your food. And then Isaac like, you already got it? You already done hunting? Jacob like, yeah. All right, um, bring it to me. Bring it to me. Jacob brings him the food, sits it down. He says, son, is that you? Like, yes, it's me, it's Zawu, your first, your first son. He like, is it really? Cause I, I hear the voice of Jacob. Come here so I can touch you. Jacob walks over there, touches him. You know what I'm saying? He puts his hands out there, he touching him. And he, he got his clothes on, he got his, he got the, he got the gold skin on his, on his hands, on his neck. To make it seem like he, his hands rough, his hands hairy or whatever. So Isaac like, you feel like an Izawu? Well, all right. So Isaac, he was getting ready to bless him. He was getting ready to bless him. He said one more thing. He said, hold on. Come, come, come give me a kiss. He came. I guess as he... Went down, he smelled the smelled the, the, the clothes. He said, okay. Your body has the scent of a hunting man of, of the fields. So it is you, my son. It is you. Jacob didn't trick his father into thinking he was a Zawu. So he said, yes, again. Yes, it is me, father. He said, all right. Son, go on, pass me the food that you made me. He gave him the food, give him some wine to drink, and he said, and he and he started to bless him. He said, May God use the fertile land to give you rich harvest and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve you, and nation will bow down to you. May you rule over your relatives, and they shall bow down to you. And may everyone who curse you be cursed and whoever bless you be blessed <sighs> and as isaac was finishing blessing jacob isawu walks in isawu walks in jacob leaves the room isawu walks in dad um I got your food. I got your venison. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just got back in. Isaac like, who are you? And he says, it's me, your first son. It's all. It's me. I'm here to be blessed. Isaac started shaking. Oh, yeah, he's shaking. He He's shaking just like this right here. And he says, so who was it that went hunting and brought me food already? I didn't bless them and it shall remain. Their blessing shall remain. 
Hey, Zahu got mad. He got mad, got real frustrated. He like, what you mean? What you mean that you already blessed somebody? Who? Like, what? He said, "Can you, you can still bless me too, right? Like, what did you bless them? I just said, your brother, he deceived me. He tricked me into thinking that he was you. Your brother tricked me into thinking he was you. And I blessed him. I, I gave him your blessing. And, oh, Ezawu didn't like that. Because y'all remember when they were fighting over the birthrights? I didn't realize it. But Jacob tricked Ezawu into giving him the birthright. And he says, he, he stole from me two times. He took my birthright and he took my blessing. No. He said, but dad, you ain't got no blessings for me though. Like you ain't got nothing for me. Nothing. I made him ruler over you and said that all of his relatives would be servants. I declared that he'll be rich in corn and wine. So, and he's like, so you have nothing for me. And he just to begin to cry again. He, 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 he going through it. He going through it now. I say, look, you will use your sword and you will be your brother's servant. But when you rebel, you will throw off his yoke from around your neck. Yeah, y'all. So if anybody can help me out about what, when he says you will throw off his yoke from around your neck. If anybody can help me out and tell me what that mean, take whatever it is he got over him and take it off and just be like, nah, you ain't finna, you ain't finna do this to me no more. You ain't finna work me like, just like this no more. This supposed to be what, what you doing, I'm supposed to be doing. You not finna do this to me. So that's what I think that mean. But I'm gonna just move on. So from then, as I will hate Jacob, and he always said to himself, when the time come, I will mourn my father's death and I will kill Jacob. And Rebecca heard as I was talking and she getting worried for her son. She getting worried for Jacob. So she called Jacob. She told him everything that, that he was saying. And she tells him, your brother, he hates what you did. He hates what, we, what, what had happened to him, how you took his father's blessing. I'm gonna need you to go I'm gonna need you to go live with Laban, my brother. I'm gonna need you to go live with Laban until until your brother cool down. Cause right now he is hot. He's he got he got his eye on you and he gonna take you out. So until that cool down, I'm gonna need you to go stay with Laban. So as he went out, his mama said, "Hey, I I I'll see it for you to come back when it's time. But right now you gotta go. I'm gonna end it off right there." And hey, it, it, it it's looking it's looking it's looking like some drama finna go on in the in the household of Isaac and Rebecca. Isaac and Rebecca children, they 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 really they they really fighting for real. But y'all remember when Rebecca was pregnant, she was saying, Why why is this going on? Why why am I in pain like just like this? And God said, No, there are gonna be some fighters right there. They gonna fight against each other. He also said the youngest one gonna be over the oldest one. He already knew what was going on. God knew what was going on before they even came out the stomach. God knew Jacob was finna take over and be over his old. And he didn't even have to do nothing. He was chilling and laying back. It's crazy how the mama though. It's crazy how the mama how how the mama took away Ezawu's blessing and gave it to Jacob. What if Jacob really ain't know how to run the nations? You know what I'm saying? Because he was so chill and laid back all, all the time. Ezawu was the one going out there, fighting, getting the getting the venison. You know what I'm saying? Ezawu got two wives. He got two wives. Of course he finna rule the nation. <laughs> of course we're finna rule the nation. Jacob ain't got no wife yet. Rebecca said if Jacob was to marry a Hittite woman, 
She said she would rather be dead. Oh, that's why she acting like that. Because she don't like Ezawu wives. Because Ezawu wives, they're Hittites. Y'all remember in the beginning, she said that she hated his two wives. Because they gave him problems. And she said if Jacob was to marry one, she would just be like, oh, I wouldn't even want to be here no more. Dang. So that's probably why she did that to Azawu, because she ain't like his wives. Mm hmm. But y'all, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for tuning in. If y'all enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. I got to keep promoting. Got to keep getting myself out there. Got to keep networking. Got to keep talking to people. This community won't be what I want it to be until I do what I have to do on my end. So y'all, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for being great supporters. I'm out.